Welcome to the spoken tutorial about the importance of vitamin D. In this tutorial, we will learn about role of vitamin D in the body, symptoms of its deficiency, recommended intake, food sources. Let us begin by briefly understanding what is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. It exists in two forms, vitamin D3 and vitamin D2. D3 is mainly produced by the skin on exposure to UVB rays from sunlight. UVB is known as ultraviolet B rays. It is one of the three types of sun rays. You can also get small amounts of D3 from non-vegetarian foods. Vitamin D2, however, is present in a few vegetarian foods. Supplements of both vitamin D2 and D3 are available in the market easily. Interestingly, vitamin D obtained from all these sources is inactive. To become active, it has to undergo two processes. First process of activation is in the liver and the second is in the kidney. Active form of vitamin D, also known as calcitriol, is formed in the kidney. Once vitamin D gets activated, it plays several roles in the body. One of the major roles is Formation and maintenance of strong bones. Another is the absorption of calcium in the intestine. Maintaining the levels of calcium and phosphate in the blood is another role. These two nutrients are required for growth and repair of bones. They help in maintaining the correct bone density in our body. Apart from bones, they also help in maintaining strong teeth and muscles. Vitamin D is an immunomodulator. This means that it helps in controlling and supporting the immune system. It helps to activate the body's natural response to fight diseases. Vitamin D protects the body against several respiratory infections. For example, pneumonia, influenza, tuberculosis and COVID-19. Reduction in inflammation in the body is aided by vitamin D. Its other properties are to protect the body from viruses, bacteria and fungi. Vitamin D is found to improve insulin sensitivity. Therefore, it helps in managing diabetes, blood pressure and body weight. It also maintains good heart health. It does so by helping in relaxation of blood vessels in the heart. For many other functions in the body, vitamin D is essential. For example, cell division, brain development and prevention of cancer. If the requirements of vitamin D are not met, there can be a deficiency. Let us see what factors put someone at risk for vitamin D deficiency. Inadequate exposure to sunlight is one of the major risk factors. UVB rays from sunlight are required to produce vitamin D in the skin. Glass windows block these UVB rays in the house. Hence, people with limited exposure to sunlight are at a risk of deficiency. For example, old people and people mostly working indoors. Vitamin D deficiency is common in winter or in regions with cold climates. 
the risk of deficiency is high in dark skinned people they have high amounts of a pigment called melanin in their skin this reduces the ability of their skin to produce vitamin d from sunlight they require longer exposure to sunlight as compared to light skinned people inadequate intake of vitamin d from the diet is another risk factor additionally vitamin d requires fat for its absorption hence people with reduced ability to absorb fat can suffer from deficiency this can occur in people with gall bladder or intestinal diseases individuals with liver or kidney diseases are also at a risk of deficiency conversion of vitamin d to active form takes place in the kidney and liver hence people with liver or kidney diseases are also at a risk of deficiency obese people and those who have had bypass surgery can also become deficient pregnant and breastfeeding mothers need vitamin d for the fetus and the infant otherwise the mother is at risk of becoming deficient in vitamin d next let us understand the effects of vitamin d deficiency signs of deficiency may vary with severity and age group some of the general signs are fatigue mood swings and poor immunity muscle cramps spasms and seizures are also seen without adequate vitamin d bones become thin soft and brittle low vitamin d impairs the immune system thus there is an increased chance of catching infections it also results in an increase in inflammation in the body all this makes a person more susceptible to getting infected with covid-19 the severity of effects of covid-19 and death due to it rises with deficiency the risks of several cancers also increase due to the deficiency of vitamin d cancer of colon prostate and breast are a few examples low vitamin d levels can raise the risk of multiple sclerosis it is a condition in which protective covering of the nerve is damaged this disrupts the communication between the brain and body it affects the brain spinal cord and optic nerves deficiency of vitamin d during pregnancy can result in a rise in blood pressure it can have negative effects on the baby also there can be an increased risk of premature birth and low birth weight babies babies born to mothers with vitamin d deficiency will also be deficient vitamin d deficiency can cause rickets in infants and children rickets is a disorder of the skeletal system the growth gets stunted and there are changes in the shape of the spine other signs are sunken ribs protruding forehead and bow shaped bent legs widening of the wrist elbow knee and ankle joints can be seen children with rickets are also at a risk of getting infectious disease there is a delay in tooth eruption a pot belly and an abnormal walk is also seen muscle pain irritability and increased sweating are other signs in adolescents and adults deficiency causes osteomalacia it is a condition of weakening and softening of bones 
the bones become easily prone to fractures. Severe pain in back, hips, pelvis and legs can occur. Other signs include muscle weakness and spasms. To avoid deficiency, getting adequate vitamin D is important. For infants of 0 to 12 months, 400 international units or 10 micrograms per day is recommended. 600 international units or 15 micrograms per day is recommended for people of age group 1 to 70 years. This includes children, adolescents, adults, pregnant and lactating mothers. For men and women above 70 years, 800 international units or 20 micrograms is recommended. Many experts recommend much higher doses. Let us now learn how to get adequate vitamin D. Our body can produce it on exposure to UVB rays of the sunlight. The best time to get maximum UVB rays is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. 15 to 20 minutes of daily exposure to midday sunlight is recommended. For dark-skinned people, 3 to 5 times longer exposure in sunlight is needed. Approximately 10,000 international units of vitamin D is generated during this time. Note that the body can't make vitamin D if you are seated indoors by the window. This is because the glass blocks the UVB rays. Hence, you should get sunlight from outdoors. You can even keep the windows open and let the sunshine in. Next, let us look at food sources of vitamin D. Only a small amount of vitamin D can be obtained from foods, among which fish are the best sources. For example, sardine, herring, black pomfret, salmon and cod. 100 grams of sardines has 3.5 microgram of vitamin D. 100 grams of herring fish has about 5 microgram of vitamin D. Other seafood like prawns and crabs also have little amounts of vitamin D. 100 grams of prawns have about 1 microgram. Other non-vegetarian sources of vitamin D are egg yolk and chicken liver. 100 grams of chicken liver has about 2.6 micrograms of vitamin D. Two egg yolks of about 40 grams have nearly 1.3 micrograms. Few vegetarian foods have vitamin D. For example, mushroom, soya bean, finger millet, sesame seeds. 100 grams of mushroom has around 20 micrograms. 50 grams of soya bean has 33 micrograms. However, along with intake, absorption is very important. Vitamin D3 is better absorbed and used in the body as compared to D2. Hence, sunlight and non-vegetarian food are best sources of vitamin D. Please consult your doctor before taking any supplements. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for joining.